Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Today, um, saw this on TV, Will Myers talking about Eric Cosmer signing with the Padres. And let's uh, let's check it out first, and then we'll talk about it. Yeah, he definitely helps. You know, obviously, uh, you know, with a guy behind me, he's going to help, but also just learning from him. You know, he's been a guy that, uh, you know, he's been in a lot of great lineups. He, he's a guy that's won, and, and, and it's going to be cool to just learn from him, learn, how, learn what it takes to, to go out there and, and work a count, work in at bats. Um, so, you know, just being, him being here, uh, I think it's going to really help me out a lot, just be able to see him, watch him, how he works, and uh, just hopefully learn from him. Okay, so a couple of points that he makes that I want to kind of hit on. You know, first, um, the first point is that you have Will Myers, who's, you know, obviously a successful major league player. He's had a really nice career so far. He's a young player. Um, but shows how, you know, players, even at the major league level, are looking to learn from from other players, right? So really, really important. The learning never ends. you got to be a lifelong learner. No matter what level you're at, you're always trying to get better. So that's the first thing. The second thing, he brings up a couple of cool points. For one, um, again, talking about learning, watching watching other players, right? So he talks about his approach at the plate, right? Watching how he works counts, how what his approach at the plate is. Um, really, really important. Watching other players at bats, okay? Not just being focused, so focused on yourself, but actually watching the game and learning from other players, learning from the good players on your team, really, really important. Second thing is, um, he talks about how he's going to learn just by how he conducts himself, right? So really, really important, you know, we talk about leadership and it's not always about having to be a vocal leader, but leading by example. So, you know, one of the things when people are, when, when general managers and coaches are putting teams together, they talk about you know, good clubhouse guys, right? Glue guys and um, guys with good work ethics. Well, all that stuff is about leading by example. So if you get enough guys that they don't have to be the most vocal guys, some are, but they don't have to be vocal guys. If they're guys that lead by example, right? They're the first guys in, they're the last guys to leave. They're working hard. They're doing everything they can uh, to make themselves better players, Um they play for the team, they put the team first, like all of those things, it shows the impact that that makes because you have players like Will Myers, who's still, you know, he's a successful player, but he's still somewhat of a young player. You know, he's looking at veteran guys, other guys, how they conduct themselves, and that's really, really important. This is a huge part of leadership, um, the lead by example. So, you know, if you're one of those players that's one of the team's better players, it's really important that you're setting a good example because other players are going to be looking up to you and they're going to follow your lead. And so if you're somebody that shows up late, is the first guy out of the clubhouse, doesn't run the bases hard, doesn't have a great work ethic, like that stuff rubs off on other players. And so um, just a couple points that I thought were were interesting points um, that Will Myers brings up. And then the last part, almost forgot what I wanted to say there for a second. The last part is about if you're a younger player, this is one of the important parts about playing on a team with, with good players, with players that are better than you, right? If you're always the best player, then you might not always have those opportunities to look at guys and uh, see guys that are really, really good players that have even a better work ethic than you, that are going to push you to be even a better player. That's one of the things I always strive to do as a younger player is try to play on the best teams. I didn't want to be the best player, right? Because you want players to push you. And so I've had the opportunity playing at all different levels where, um, you know, I thought I was a really hard worker and I prided myself on being a hard worker most of my life. But I played on a lot of teams where I was like, you know, I'm working pretty hard, but holy hell is that guy working really hard. And like those type of guys push you to be better to work more, to show up earlier, to stay later, to get in more reps, to get in the weight room more, to all that stuff, right? Like, I talk about, you know, a couple guys off the top of my head, like Steve Lombardozzi, when I was with the Nationals, 
Like, a dude freaking fielded a lot of ground balls, and he took every ground ball in practice like it was a game. Probably more than almost anyone I'd ever seen. And that challenged me to try to do the same. Like, I'd never seen... When I was in AAA with the Nationals, and he was with us for about half a year, he came up from AA. He didn't make a single error, I don't think, that entire season, that half season when he came up with us. I don't think I ever saw him miss a ball in practice. Like, it was amazing. And so that stuff rubs off, rubs off on you. Like, David Eckstein was another guy. Guy, you know, I got to work with him a lot when I was with the Padres, got to field ground balls with him. And another guy that just took his practice – work extremely seriously like he did it like it was a game um and some players you know when their practice work they miss a few balls ah who cares it's just practice but the guys that are are really really good you know david Eckstein was able to play in the big leagues for a long time without having the most natural talent or raw tools was able to play for a long time because he got the job done he was super he just fielded everything right he made the routine play all the time um and that stuff is all – he's able to do that because he works on it in practice. He played practice just like it was a game. So, again, another reason why it's important to play with really good players so you can see those type of things because that stuff will rub off on you. Just like if you're a really good player and you play with a bad team with a, guy, a bunch of guys that aren't committed, well, then that could potentially rub off on you. Hopefully it doesn't, but it could. So just a couple of points that Will Myers makes that I want to – um, talk about, hopefully this helps you guys out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video with all your friends. Give us a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Check out the description box below. We've got a bunch of stuff down there for you guys. Got a deal going on a plate crate. We've got a bunch of recommendations.